more options Brooklyn Nine-Nine as this show is known to do, handled yet another tricky situation with grace and giggles as only the now NBC comedy can. For Chelsea Peretti's final episode of the series, Gina Linetti, the human form of the 100 emoji, got a send-off that even she would smile it. Because it wasn't just about Gina, one of the show's most quote-worthy characters, but about the ensemble as a whole, again, in true B99 spirit. Last night's episode titled, Four Movements, found Gina saying goodbye to each of her co-workers at the precincts by leaving them with yet another, signature Gina moment, kicked off in a staff meeting complete with confetti and gymnastics and gold jumpsuit wearing dancers. You know, the kind of staff meeting you could only wish you had at your job. Captain Holtz, Andrew Brewer, goodbye meant a meaningful conversation over a game of chess. Amy's, Melissa Fumero, included the dare to burn a sentimental binder, naturally, she made as a gift, and Jake's, Andy Samberg, found the duo sneaking into a fancy members-only club on the mission of inviting, and then rejecting, Mario Lopez de Gina's goodbye party. Though she demands it, has to be splashy, Peretti's actual send-off from the sitcom was as sentimental as it was silly, sure to leave you chuckling, and perhaps crying, and was designed to remind viewers of what an impact Captain Holt's assistant had on the whole squad. Brooklyn Nine-Nine has always worked because it was about the entire ensemble, the puzzle pieces that fit together to create a piece of television that was smart and funny and always about the importance of teamwork. Saying goodbye to a woman, one that was arguably given some of the show's most law-worthy lines, yes, is a loss, but one that this group is likely to work though as a team. Peretti, partially due to the nature of her character and partially due to her talents as a comedic actress, had chemistry with everyone. Gina had both a special bond and sick burns ready for every one of her co-workers, and to give her one last opportunity to unleash both aspects was a nice touch for her departure. It would have been easy for Brooklyn Nine-Nine to give that character a specific reason to leave her post but instead used her desire to take a risk as a way for each of the other characters to take a look at themselves. The show also wisely left the door open for any potential returns Gina might make. The episode served as a bright spotlight on each and every one of these ensemble players, staying true to who they are while learning something new about themselves. Gina has always been, one to speak the truth, and so doing that for each of her pals, in ways very specific to who they are and especially when it comes to their interactions with Gina, felt like a goodbye not only appropriate for this character but this show as a whole. Both Lynetti and Peretti are simply too good to not be missed on this show, but this episode makes the blow of her goodbye just a little bit softer. Or at least definitely a lot softer than that time she got hit by a bus. Where to stream Brooklyn Nine-Nine Brooklyn Nine-Nine Chelsea Peretti Hulu